friends. Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm finally getting started on my garden series for 2022, where I actually do tours of the different garden areas. And today I'm starting where I always start every year is with my deck garden, my south facing front deck garden. And just on the deck alone, there's quite a bit going on. And then I'll be breaking it down through a series of videos about what's going on in this front yard section, my little narrow herb strip over here, the west herb garden, and then the various different back gardens. And I'm going to be trying to do one of these every week and getting them squeezed in here. So since Patrick doesn't have a video coming out this week, this will be easy. I can put this in on Wednesday. Today is actually Sunday June 11th, I think, whatever the Sunday is before the Wednesday that you're watching this. So anyway, I'm going to get started. So I'll turn this camera around and I'll start from the other end and show you all that's happening up here. Okay, so we're starting on this end right here. And okay, this right here is the Camellia japonica. I think I actually said it right this time. And so I have currently, you'll see a little fence going right across here. This fence is a temporary setup that gets taken down in the late summer. Certain parts of the day, the chickens will hang out in this little narrow area that's right up against the house. And it's just a really good area that I can still keep them contained. And then the rest of the year, they stay contained in this whole front yard garden but of course i'll talk more about that section probably in next week's video so starting with the deck garden which i include this set up here in the deck garden and yes my comfrey down there i need to hard cut it back again it's just going berserk so last year patrick cut out these little rounds for me when i really pruned back this juniper so i could get more light in here and i need to prune it again and so i could put some more pots in here yes i need to get in there and pull the grass out of that one and just another place for me to grow more strawberries and it just looks nice too and so he did that for me there and then here on the deck there's not a whole lot going on in this corner most of these pots here i use a lot of times just for starting seeds so in this pot here and a couple of these pots here i've got i just planted some seed that i'll be putting out here when the potatoes are gone and that's the love lies bleeding amaranth and then this little bicycle my daughter-in-law had bought me last year and it had flowers in it which of course didn't they were beautiful all summer long and here's a picture of what it looked like last year but of course the flowers didn't make it and i didn't expect them to so i had recently transplanted some of the strawberry starts off of my other plants in here so that'll just be another strawberry bed so you'll see that all of my strawberries i grow out here on the front deck these days just a couple of empty pots i'm going to be filling here pretty soon so more strawberries and then these are just some of the green onions i grow and i need to cut those back and dehydrate them and then so it will give me some more and then of course more strawberries and then here is the green stock uh like i've said before everything here is pretty uh the strawberries are much farther behind than well maybe not much but they're far farther behind than usual because it's been so cold but it's nice to see a lot of flowers coming on them and berries starting to form where are those berries you kind of see them starting to form there and then more strawberries here so this little uh, thing here uh, a few years ago Patrick made that for Kayla and Ryan when they got married it was a pie tree and after the wedding they didn't need it anymore so they gave it back to me so I use it as a strawberry planter tree and that's what's going on there but even though they do okay there the strawberries like these pots best especially this one look at that look at all those Woohoo! and my gooseberry oh my goodness the gooseberry well i managed to keep so far the bugs from chewing the leaves all the pieces but i got no berries this year so two years in a row no berries it's really kind of a bummer but at least it's still a pretty addition out here that also adds a little more privacy up here on the deck and to our big front window living room window that faces this way so again this is the south side of the house so we're facing south now if i turn around you'll see a few more pots that i'm probably still going to move here so what i've been doing with the calendula so these calendula are from ones i started from seed last year 
and that's the only reason they're that big. The, all these smaller ones are ones I started from seed this year, and because it's still we still keep having very cold days, I'm keeping these up here just because this one has young ones, and of course more more green onions. But I'm going to probably move this one this way more so it can get more light. Because the problem with this, we're getting in that time of the year where this overhang here, um, it comes out so far, which in some ways is really nice. It also prevents a lot of sun from getting in this area right here as the sun gets higher in the sky. It's okay in the early spring and late summer because the sun's setting lower again, but not this time of year. Okay, so let's come around here. My fig is finally, just finally starting to get some life on it. I have yet to see any fruit develop. It looks like I probably won't get any again this year. And even some of the leaves that formed are a little deformed. And I really believe it's because of how much colder it is this year. Here we are, middle of June, and it's just, it is cold today. Uh, this is calendula I started from seed and it's just growing super super slow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this pot out for that pot get this in a more protected area since those ones over there are doing better even the the younger ones and then move that one over here so it can get more sun thus get more flowers this one was over there and again just as before this pink one here which I took a picture of it the other day before I cut the open flowers off and you, I'll put it here so you can see what it looked like. And then this kind of gold colored one, both from last year. And then this one here is from this year, new seed. But you see these leaves, when the leaves do that, and my corn out back is doing that too, that is because of the cold. It does that every year. My current rhododendron that's blooming and the azalea is long since done blooming. Uh, these are only here, I keep them here just because I love the flowers when they bloom. Uh, I keep thinking about taking them out and replacing them with more berries, but I hate to get rid of those flowers. This right here is a licorice I started from seed last year. Now I tried to grow licorice before and it didn't survive. I had several little starts and all of them died. This time what I did is I started in a little pot, then eventually moved it out here and only all last year kept it right up there and certainly up there all through the winter so that it would stay protected and it worked and then moved it out here so it could get more sun and you can see it's really starting to grow every so often i got to break these ferns off the ferns came up on their own and because you know we live in rain country ferns are just a part of our country but it's, it, they're so pretty i just leave them there i just have to current occasionally break the leaves back so they don't smother these things here more strawberries this is one of my three honeysuckles and uh, my biggest one is actually in a pot out back, but this one is now in the ground here next to the steps. And then this third one here is actually, see that cold, that purple? Same thing. Just got too cold after it started leafing out. But anyway, this one actually might not look like it's super great, but that's because it was a little piece probably about th that big that had broke off this one. <laughs> when I bought it two years ago. And so I just put it in a little uh, pot with some root tone and it actually started growing. I wasn't sure if it would or not. So anyway, and so in the last couple of years, it's grown out much. And then I got a couple more smaller pots here with strawberries in them. And then just kind of back up a little bit so you can see what's going on this here. I have several of these now because they're very handy. I let Jackson come out here and play on the front deck. And all I got to do is just pull this across here to keep him on the deck. And so he doesn't run out in the yard. And then I just keep the front door open so he can go in and out as he pleases. So anyway, that is the update as far as the deck garden goes. Lots of green onions uh, that need to cut and dehydrate and then as i said you could, there's there's a i'll go ahead and just give you a quick preview there's a bunch of work going on down here some changes we've made i dug up some of my plants here and we tilled that in and i got a lot of cleanup to do in here the grass and the buttercup i've been working on it a little bit at a time but anyway i'll give you more details on that next week and how all that's going but i do want to say one thing you'll see out there all that tan that is all grass clippings that we brought over either from the neighbor's house or our other piece of property. And I wanna remind everyone that grass clippings are an excellent form of mulch and fertilizer. 
and even though they can be very hot there is a way you can use them even on the things that don't like such hot things like potatoes love it because you can just pile on the potatoes pile them on there pile them on there instead of dirt pile on the grass clippings and they love it they just go crazy in the grass clippings and the root the rhubarb loves it anything acidic loving will love it your corn but for the things that don't like such acidic soil you can still use it as a light covering that will help hold in moisture so grass clippings are free and they're excellent all right well i hope you enjoyed my garden update for this week the front deck garden and be watching hopefully next week for another video to come out on the rest of this front yard garden right over here and more after that all right well thanks for watching take care and god bless